How's it going everybody? This is Dylan Fletcher for Scythe Classics and Armory and today we're going to be taking a special look at a section of the shop that perhaps you haven't seen yet because it's relatively new and we're here with Mark Hall and Mark Hall is the shotgun man and he's going to tell us who he is and what it is that he does here. Thank you Dylan. Here at for Scythe Classics and Armory we have an array of opportunities for shooting disciplines mainly the shotgun areas that I work in is aimed specifically at shooting clay targets or moving targets such as quail, pheasant, or rabbits even. But we keep in stock on a lot of firearms for the average shooter. Or you can have guns that you might want to collect, like your grandfather's old gun. Or you have some that you might want to invest in. Guns are a great opportunity for investing for an estate or for personal reasons. And also, they can increase in value over time sounds pretty awesome and uh, it's a good thing that we have him here he's in-house anything that you need that pertains to anything he just said you can come up here if you want to make an appointment spend a little quality time whatever you want to do we can work it out and if you're interested in this stuff mark can walk you through absolutely everything we're going to have a lot of videos in the future with mark where he gives us everything on instruction of specific firearms what certain things do with these shotguns that you wouldn't find with normal, uh, we'll say, budget-minded shotguns like your average stuff like Mossbergs and Remingtons. These shotguns are a different world. They require different things. Mark knows all of that. Also, you get into the collectability of the shotguns, like he said. Mark is an expert at appraising and letting you know the history of all of these shotguns. And if he doesn't know exactly what it is, the man can find out exactly what it is. He knows how to do it. He has the connections. He, he moves in the circles, so to speak. All right, Mark. Well, why don't you show us one of these shotguns that's just kind of a, a cool one, a special to you, something that kind of will help us explain more of what you're doing around here. Certainly, Dylan. Thank you very much. This is a uh, sporting gun uh, made by Bet & Silence called the Omega SP. It's a 12 gauge. These guns come in variations of gauges and sizes and it also comes with different dimensions. More importantly, it has the contents that you're looking for in a less expensive gun with a high probability of less maintenance and just a great shooting gun. This one on, on one hand has an adjustable comb. I can fit it with an adjustable butt plate. It has a trigger that is set up specifically for and the use of, of sporting clays. Uh, but it also is adorned, as you can see by the case, uh, with gold uh, and really nice engraving. The barrel length on this gun is 30 inches and it's, it can be ported or not ported. But it also comes with a mid bead and a front bead that's relative to both shooting skeet, trap, or sporting clays. The gun is a, a very well made gun, as you can see. It has a, a lot of features that you normally don't get on most guns. It has machine turn parts, which allows it to be uh, closed easily and accurately more often. These are very long backboard guns, so you get smooth reaction from the, the shot once you pull the trigger, and the shot string patterns are always consistent. Last time I had one of these guns out, did pretty good with it. Now this is something we keep in the shop on a regular basis, and we have direct contact with the manufacturer. We also have this for the youth market as well, so we can get uh, youth size stocks. And here this gun has something a little unique. It has an ambidextrous palm swell. So your hand goes in the spot on the gun every time consistently. So then you're looking at the target. You're not concerned about where your hand and eye is, more importantly. You're focusing mainly on the target. Looking at this shotgun right now reminds me of the first time I went and I shot some sporting clays with a couple of people from this shop with what I thought was a relatively good, expensive sporting clay shotgun. And uh, I found out really quickly that what I had was what they considered the dregs of society. And uh, they were all very polite about it. I was like, hey, what do you think of this? And they were like, wouldn't be my first choice. But hey, what a shiny shotgun. And I knew what they meant, especially when I held theirs. And mine felt like it weighed four times as much and just didn't feel as good. These are a different level of shotgun. These are for people who know what they're doing and know how to pick out good shotguns, which I did not at the time. That's another good point. Uh, we have here at Forsyth Classics and Armory, a variation of uh, guns and prices and uh, frame types such as over and unders, side-by-sides, semi-automatics or pumps. 
And in these guns, we get we do something that really helps someone like Dylan, who needs the help at times, bless his heart. Uh, <laughs> but, but more importantly, we're here to help you shoot more and shoot more accurately and just have fun. All right, Mark. Well, we took a look at this shotgun right here. Let's take a look at something with a little bit, uh, we'll say, more unique provenance. Well, Dylan, thank you. This is a 1923 Parker PHE grade. This is an all-skeet gun that was created by the Parker Brothers Association. Uh, this gun was made, like I said, in 1923. But the gun stayed in the same family until 1947. After World War II, uh, they were trying to recognize someone with a, a something that they could thank them for their efforts. So this gun went to the governor of Delaware for his efforts in coordinating for uh, medical hospitals, floating medical hospitals, through the Navy and was presented to the governor, Bacon, in 1947. And this gun shows as new. It's a uh, Parker double barrel gun. This particular gun has uh, Mastodon dual ivory beads, which is uh, basically 5,000 years old from Mastodon uh, ivory. And it's set up for skeet shooting. It has a lot of history and provenance with it. And with the Parker Collectors Association, we can get the letters for it, tell us where the gun was bought, when it was bought, and by whom, as well as where it was delivered to. So it comes with a lot of general information about the gun. So this gun comes with a letter uh, that it says from the manufacturer, uh, from the records. It shows when it, where it was sent to, how it was made, and how its original form. And this gun letters exactly as it left the factory in 1923. This is the type of thing, I don't even want to touch it. This is like holding somebody else's child. Like, <laughs> don't hand me your baby. I don't want to be that kind of responsible. That's too much for me. That is a beautiful shotgun. I can tell you from being up here and walking around checking out a lot of these shotguns, because I trust me, Mark has shoved plenty of these things in my hand and been like, check this out. And every one of them blows my mind. There's some of these in the case that you can't see around us that have like never been assembled things like that, like never even been put together. I'm talking amazing stuff that you might see somewhere else, but to see this much of it at one time and have access to someone like Mark with that level of knowledge is a rare thing. I mean, you gotta go somewhere pretty special to get that. This is the place that you can go. Any of these shotgun things, whether it be collectible shotguns, maybe you just want something a little bit higher end to go do skeet, sporting clays, whatever you wanna do. You want something that's more of an heirloom you can hand down in your family. Mark can facilitate that. He can point you in the right direction. He can help educate you so that you're confident that what you're picking is the thing that you're going to love. It is the thing that you're going to want. This level of age is what's beautiful. That slight plum that's in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mm -hmm. so good. It is. It's really, really <laughs> nice. And the case coloring. Oh, still, the case coloring is yeah, gorgeous. And the, and the stock thing. is just a beautiful grade of grade four to five wood in your exhibition. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a beautiful gun. But it's, uh, it's, it's as, it appears as new, just like it came out of the factory yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. like to shoot that down. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd well, like that's, to. that's what they're made for. Man. Whether you collect a gun like this, receive one from a family member's handed down generation to generation, this is a, an investment gun. It increases in value, so you can go out and shoot this gun and it still increases in value. Not to mention, just when you take one of these things apart, especially if you have a case where you keep it separated in the case, the level of <laughs> craftsmanship in these shotguns is ridiculous compared to something like this is miles ahead of any stoger thing that you're going to get from the factory <laughs> this is ridiculous level uh attention to detail and they are gorgeous each one is unique and it's beautiful that's right dylan we have here in the shop a lot of different manufacturer guns more importantly if you have a gun that you are looking for you can contact us and we can search for it and find it for you at your price usually if you know what the fair market value price is for that type gun uh, based on the manufacturer. We've had everything from Holland and Holland, Purdy, uh, Winchester, all the major manufacturers, and we can fit your need as well and your budget. Another thing that Mark does here that is extremely helpful is we have private events here sometimes on Sundays. The shop is closed down. We're not letting anybody else in. It's just people coming in to check out the shotgun stuff. They're going to have all access to Mark as well as just about every employee here. 
and uh, it's a very limited event every time we have limited space and we want to make sure that it's special for everybody who comes to that specific event so it is very limited and uh, it runs an all-day Sunday thing is just come in here come into the shop give us a call whichever and say hey I'm interested in those private shotgun events that you guys have on Sunday and we'll get your information down talk to you a little bit and uh, you know it's it's an invitation thing like I said because it's limited so not everybody gets to come every time but we pick groups and we have them come in here at different times and uh, everybody has a blast there's usually snacks and beverages around people hanging around shooting the bull just enjoying these incredible shotguns you meet some very interesting people here you see people bring shotguns in that we didn't have here that are also amazing mm -hmm. so uh you know lots of stuff goes on on those days if you're interested give us a call come in the shop and we'll set up a time that you can be in one of those groups and come in and do it uh, another thing to keep in mind is if you have children that are looking to get into the sport mark can help a lot with that he can help you figure out things that you aren't necessarily able to figure out on your own sometimes without an array of shotguns to try he can help you figure out what the proper length of pull is going to be what the right kind of you know weight of gun is going to be for the person uh, based on their size and their age and their maturity level things like this mark knows all of that so if you have any youth any children or anything that are getting into the sport young adults whatever everybody is invited to come talk to mark and learn stuff about these shotguns mark is there anything else special you want to try to fit in and show us here or? no don't, I, don't, I think you've covered it mostly again as you mentioned earlier we have a shotguns for every budget for every person for every size and we just like to see people come in see what we have to offer and then, just as importantly, if it's um, in the youth sporting world, I do things a little different for the kids uh, and the parents. Uh, we look at fitting a boy or girl uh, to ensure that they have a, a, a pleasurable shooting experience and an enjoyable one and to fit the budget of the parents. So at the end of the videos, you will also see the contact information for the shop. I'm also going to add Mark's name so that if this is what you're interested in you know who to ask for when you call you can write it down at the end of this video so that way you don't have to try to remember it and uh, get in touch with mark that's going to be it for this video as i said we're going to have many more videos with mark because he has such an extent of knowledge here that it seems impossible to keep me from wanting to pick his brain on all this stuff and you know what we might as well record it because it's some pretty interesting stuff so Although we're not doing all that in this video, I'm sure he's got hundreds of hours of stuff that we could go over. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start tackling some of it, so keep an eye out for Mark. And uh, once again, I'm Dylan Fletcher for Scythe Classics and Armory. Uh, if you need any guns, any ammo, anything that you need, we have it all. We have, obviously, all of the shotguns. We have all the accessories you could shake a stick at. We have it all. So come on into for Scythe Classics and Armory or give us a call and we will get you set up. And that's it, peace. <laughs>